relationship. This is true. So even if we were that generation, it's like if we all partnered up, we'd be just sucking and fucking constantly. It's like I like to say that if I was a caveman, yeah, and and if all cavemen had my brain, we, we society would have never. Oh yeah, I believe we, we that. We never we would have peaked at like, all right, we got the wheel, we got fire. What else is there? Now let's get to focus. Oh, I mean that's we fucked up, man. We had it made in the shade. Yeah, back then. Just fires, Chilling. partying. Yeah. You find some stinky berries and you're like, damn, this shit is fermented. Beating the hell out of people. <laughs> you mean rival tribes? Sure. Yeah, they, they shouldn't, shouldn't have looked, looked at you funny. <laughs> yeah. I watched Apocalypto a couple weeks ago. Man, that movie whips. Whoa, this is not a Mel Gibson apologist podcast. He said some things about Jews. He said some things about Jews. He said some things about like every group. He said some things. <laughs> he said a lot he of really things. said a lot of things. Have you? But Maybe we'll play that clip in bonus content. But- And we'll really think about the yeah. kind of things he said. But Lethal Weapon is so good. Sure. Lethal Weapon is such a also, good movie. Also, Mad Max. Great movie. Fucking whips. He's so hot. Yeah. In the Mel 1970s Gibson? and 80s, it's <clears throat> oh, psychotic. Yeah. yeah, he's a good looking guy. Oh my God. He's still kind of hot. Well, yeah, of course he is. But he said some things. He really said some yeah. things. Netflix reported earnings and it tanked. Surprise! It's because they suck. Uh, sorry, C- can you hit the? Oh well, I, I I don't have my sound thing up. Crybaby Bill Ackman immediately lost four hundred million. Four hundred million dollars. Yeah, he sold. He was probably the one dumping like all day yesterday. It was just relentless selling. They lost about. Um, they were down thousand subscribers. Well, so they were their projection. The estimate was that they were going to gain two and a half million subscribers, and they lost two hundred thousand. It's estimated that 700,000 subscribers were lost due to Russia. So really that puts them at plus 500,000, which is still a 2 million subscriber miss. I think that it's uh, not surprising at all. And they were down over 35% or 124 points. And that's about $50 billion in market cap gone. And I hesitated on the 300 strike puts, which were about four bucks. And uh, they they would they gone they went from about four bucks to eighty dollars. How much would you have made? I mean, on um, that's uh, what's eighty divided by four? What's eighty divided by four? Yeah, I can't do it in my head 20. right now. Twenty. So that's twenty x. So whatever I put in, if that was if I just bought one contract, that's four hundred dollars times twenty. That's eight grand. Damn, dude. Yeah. If I bought two contracts, that's sixteen grand. I do love the segment of every show where you just talk about how much you missed. Would have made, yeah. <laughs> and I stupidly tried to buy the dip after hours. I bought fifty shares, and then I bought another fifty, and then I just got fucking murked. I lost like forty six hundred dollars. You know who's having a worse day though is literally than everyone. Bill Ackman. Bill Ackman, yeah, but he just like owned it and said whatever. But said whatever he lost 400 million dollars yeah but to ackman that's you know that's i think that was a four percent hit it's pretty embarrassing though too i think it was just like in january he was talking about how like netflix is uniquely positioned yeah we're going all in (laughs) on streaming online streaming moron yeah um but i think it was probably a really 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 shitty day to work at netflix like just, I'm sure that the tension and the anger was palpable in the air. Well, there also could be layoffs. Maybe, maybe. Were they they're, talking about that? I don't know, but they're cutting. The, it sounds like they're changing a lot. Cutting budgies. The cutting budgets. They're budgies. Um, budgies. Yeah, they're cutting budgies. That's a showbiz term. Is it? No. Yeah, I didn't think so. But. Yeah, they're scaling back how much they're spending on all this production. They're thinking about so. doing an ad, a subscription, or yeah, an ad-based model. Which is an idea that I had years ago. Is that an idea you had or yeah. is that an idea all these other streams? Everybody's got the idea, <laughs> but it's like, why the fuck is Reed Hastings, the CEO and founder, not implementing that soon, five fucking three years ago? Oh, Netflix, you're you're the most expensive streaming service. And yet you don't offer 
a cheaper tier that is supplemented. Well, for a with while that. it was what eight ninety nine, mm-hmm. and now it's like, like twenty. Yeah. Well, that's for the the like HD. You can do a cheaper one, but it's like four eighty p resolution. <laughs> I yeah. think I'm watching uh, Old Enough in 480p. Also, that sounds gross. Old Enough sounds like a barely legal porn, but it is not that. It's a, Don't look at me like that. It's, an, uh, it's a very wholesome show on Netflix. Oh, is it about the Japanese yes. kids? Yeah, I heard about that. It sounds so sweet. I wish they would call it something else, but it's amazing. These like toddlers go run an errand for their parents, and it's just very sweet. And don't they have to wear a flag? Like, Sometimes, like because they're crossing a the street and stuff, it's like because they're so tiny, <laughs> they gotta wear flags. So it's extremely cute. Yeah. It's very um, <clears throat> after a long day of just getting uh, pummeled by the world. Turn on some old enough. Yeah, I'm sure it's nice eye bleach. But what I was saying is a shitty day at work at Netflix because all those people who have stock options, like imagine you've got a oh, million dollars yeah. in stock options, and suddenly. Boom, you're down $350,000 on paper. And you're like, oh, God damn it. Fuck. Fuck shit. Like, I think of my my old, I have an old boss from the trailer house where I worked. And I know that he got a job at Netflix as like a senior executive, you know, probably making fucking $700,000 no a year. No way. Oh, yeah. I mean, at the trailer house, he was making like half a million a year. Wow. Yeah. So at, at Netflix, I'm sure they were paying him three quarters of a million and then they probably gave him a few million dollars in stock options and that was so now he's probably fully vested and i'm sure he didn't sell a cent and now he's i'm sure today he's like ah i loved the guy he was so hard i'm sure he'll be fine having to rely on just his seven hundred thousand dollar uh oh this guy was salary this guy was a workaholic and Single, no kids, no nothing, and just it made my life. So I had to also be a workaholic. I remember he would oh, eat yeah. salads. He would eat salads with his fingers. That does suck. Your your schedule can be reliant on your bosses. Oh, it was terrible. Like writers, TV writers will be like, oh man, you're, how shitty your life is is totally reliant on your like showrunner's life. When they, <clears throat> like I remember my friend wrote on a show and they were like, the season they got married and had a kid. It was like, oh, this is so much better because they wanted to go home and spend time with their family. Wait, the season that they got married? Like the seasons after they got married and had a kid, the showrunner was Uh, like much uh, more- Mellow. Well, they wanted to get out of there and go home and spend time with their kid and stuff. Yeah. And so they weren't like, we're staying here all night, like rewriting. uh." Yeah. Maybe this will be good for Netflix. I think them pulling back on production (sighs) is going to be- I think- they. So, I mean, they had a unique thing where all of a sudden they had to basically build out an entire library of original content. Because remember for a while they had, it was all licensing stuff. It was just old stuff they licensed. Then to attract subscribers, you had to just build out original content, a content library very quickly. I mean, you see this with pretty much everyone. Apple Plus is a weird one. I mean, they were like one of the later ones and they just greenlit all this stuff. Like some of those shows are just incomprehensible. But Like what? Oh, I mean, I'm a huge Isaac Asimov fan, and I love the Foundation series and the broader Empire series with um, Robot and <clears throat> Empire. But so I was so stoked that they were making a Foundation show. It's fucking horrible. Oh, the show's terrible. Yeah, damn. And then there was another sci-fi one I tried to watch. I just like is that the one with Tom Hanks? <laughs> no, Tommy H. It was with uh, I think Sam Neill. Ah, uh, I don't have Apple TV. I use my friends. I don't pay for any of them, I don't think. Fucking freeloader. Yeah. Fucking look at, of course you got it. You don't pay for any of them. Look at that Patagonia sticker. You spend all your money on Patagonia stickers. It's the only thing that makes me feel alive. Patagonia stickers? S- spending hundreds of dollars at Patagonia. Oh, yeah. It does feel good. No, but so they, I mean, you you watch trailers for things coming out, uh-huh. and you're like, whose idea was this? Oh, I like, know. What the fuck? I mean, you love hating on... Uh, that new movie that came out. Oh, The Bubble? <laughs> yeah. Oh, The Bubble, folks. <clears throat> well, okay, so before I get into that, I, I have a couple things I want to say about Netflix and why I think that their, their story's over for Seal It Shut for the next couple of years. It's still valued at- Seal It Shut. Yes. It's still valued at $100 billion. $100 billion. It, it was a growth stock, and now the growth story is over. 
and now it's they're the, now they're in the show me phase. Like before, they had the luxury of being they had a moat around them. Now they don't have a moat around them. Now they have so much more competition, and they're spending way too much fucking money. They oh well, that was part of their game, right? I mean, that's part of like a lot of the tech companies' game is to spend, 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 and until you're the only game in town, right? I think they were throwing money all around, and I think they wanted to become the platform. They wanted to become like TV. It's like the way Uber was like, let's just spend everything we can to push out every other transportation system. Mm -hmm. And like, sure, we'll lose money and not be profitable, but in the end, we'll be the only option. Yeah, tech companies spend money to create a money printer. And then once that money printer- Create a monopoly, basically. Yeah, once that money printer is up and running and humming, then you can start throwing money at other projects and try to recreate the money printer that you just made. Google does it, Amazon does it, Microsoft, Apple. Facebook. FacePage. Uber. Boober. DoorDash. I, I had an invention for something called Boober. 